Let's take the derivative of this function that involves a natural logarithm. Uh, in this case, f of x equals the natural log of the quotient x plus 75 over x minus 75. So one of the cool things that uh, logarithm, logarithmic functions allow us to do is it allows us to turn quotients into differences. So before I even think about doing a derivative, I'm going to rewrite this function as the difference of the natural log of x plus 75 minus the natural log of x minus 75. And just to make sure it's clear that these are compositions, I'm going to plug it in like that. I'm going to put parentheses in there. Okay, so now let's take the derivative. And what we'll do is we'll just follow our rules for derivatives of natural log functions. So the derivative of the natural log of x plus 75 is 1 over x plus 75 times the derivative of x plus 75, which happens to be 1, right? Because the derivative of x is 1 and the derivative of 75 is 0. And then we'll subtract off the derivative of natural log of x minus 75, which is just 1 over x minus 75. times 1, uh, because the derivative of x minus 75 is 1. Okay, so we have the derivative. It's written as a difference here, but we can also write this as a rational function if we just subtract these two fractions. So to subtract fractions, you need a common denominator. And our common denominator will be whatever x plus 75 times x minus 75 happens to be. And you may recall that this is what we call a uh, a difference of squares when you multiply this out. Uh, these are conjugates x plus 75 times x minus 75. The, uh, the product is x squared minus 75 squared, which is 5,625. I don't know that off the top of my head. I just typed in the calculator. So that's going to be our common denominator. So, if I'm adding these fractions, I will have x minus 75 over x squared minus 5, 6, 2, 5 minus x plus 75 over x squared minus 5, 6, 2, 5. And I can now uh, add these two fractions together. Be careful. This minus sign has to distribute to both terms in that numerator. So this is going to be x minus x, which is 0, and negative 75 minus 75, which is negative 150. So that's our derivative written as a rational function. Now there's a couple things I want to point out to you because you may be doing a problem similar to this. Notice that the numerator is just 2 times 75. And in the denominator, that second term happens to be 75 squared. That's just a little hint for you. And I'm just pointing that out because if your number happens to change, that might be a pattern that you can keep an eye on. Good luck with your work.